What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's not my normal area. No. Sorry, I'm exhausted and stressed out and about nine other things. Uh, I got a lot going on. But right now, it's been raining. It's not now, but it's been raining, so it's time I get this done. I have the job I can use this on for a little bit because it's a fresh load of garbage. And I'm tired of cutting garbage by hand. It's just too dangerous. So we're going to run this for a while, see how it does, and make a decision on whether I want to keep it or what I want to do with it. Um, might keep it. Might just keep it. But um, So I didn't really do any videos, but I pulled all the window trim off. That window's gone. The front window's gone because those are definitely getting replaced. That other side's not bad. If I have enough left over, I think I'm going to do that in the, the rear windows. I got to do the skylight. There's the window cages. Everything's been wire wheeled. There's the old window and another one behind there. Um, here's all the window trim. Here's the engine covers. I still have to make this cover. If anybody knows where there might be a cover, this is a 720 Tiger Cat straight 720. It's not a G or anything like that. It's just a straight 720. It would be the driver's side or if you're sitting in the seat, left rear one. It sits on pins and had some flanges. But uh, I got everything masked. I'm going to spray this tonight. It probably could have been wire wheeled a little bit better. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. It's just, I'm exhausted. I just want to get a nice coat of paint on it so it looks respectable. The machine runs great. I don't really need to paint it, but, you know, I'm weird like that so the rims are all cleaned out um i've got all the cylinders rubbed with grease so i can't spray them i mean i'm just gonna kind of paint where the doors i'm not going in there maybe just that bottom shelf so it doesn't rust and um those are covered with grease so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get to painting i'm gonna paint all this stuff that would be hard for me to reach off the ladder and then i'll jump into machine real quick but I'll make sure I paint that door or one of the doors first so I can get in there and just level the head up and set it down and then I can do all the other little oddballs. But this ought to all paint pretty nice, I think. I just, when I set it down, I'll be able to get that little pie shape there. So there it is, man. The 720 finally coming together. Had enough. I gotta get some things. I gotta get some things straightened out. Might be making some moves. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I gotta start getting some consistent good timber. Um, yeah, I got a, a little issue with the loader I'm still trying to figure out, but it, it runs, it just has a hiccup when it gets hot, so. There you have it. I will get some video painting this later, hopefully. <laughs> Now I'm working on the engine covers. Um, I missed the spot on the damn head. I got an extra roller. I can roll that. They told me I can roll this paint. This stuff's from Sherwin Williams. It's an industrial paint. It's pretty nasty stuff. Make sure you wear a respirator if you ever buy it. I got a couple runs, but I'm not a professional painter. She's a professional painter. That's why I had her help me. 
she's doing all the covers. So basically what I do is I use the spray bomb it. I'll hit all the areas that the roller can't get real quick, like the edges and stuff. And then she does the rest. She's doing the back cover. We got to get like a big emblem and put on the back of this right here. I'd like to get like the Punisher skull or something because I'm probably just going to destroy everything I hit with this thing. <laughs> but uh, maybe a big Sasquatch logo, but whatever it is, I'm going to have to sit there and poke all the holes out because I need that for ventilation on the machine. I don't know what I will do. But next she's going to do those. The two panels are done. And then she's going to do the, the bumper. What's that? She said I could hang it on there for you. You could? Then I'd feel bad though if I decided to sell the machine someday. Well, I can paint the game. Paint the game. So these are all ready. I'm going to start glass, but I got to come up with a place to do it. I rolled these last night, the trim pieces and everything, just because I couldn't spray. And I kind of got, I want to call it like a textured finish. I'm not real happy about it, but it's very thick. There's lots of paint on it. So I know they won't rust again. So we're gonna have to deal with it. And I didn't bother the inside of the arms or that plate there because it's just gonna get worn off. So and I missed a little spot right there. Son of a gun. Two spots. Oh well, we'll get them. So it's Saturday now. Uh, the paint's all dry. We well, except for the black stuff. We did that this morning. And then Lauren's doing the final touches. She's doing the you see that making the center of the one the 720. She's making that. Um, I got all the glass in. I just got to put the covers on these sides. And I got some paint on them drying right now. So looks good. And then uh, I'm actually, you guys can watch me mount this back here right now. Put this on. Let me move this socket down. I should have brought that darn camera holder in mine. No, we rolled a bunch, but I told we, I said to her, I was like, we, I had a paint can for getting hard spots. I was like, I shouldn't have bought a paint can because it was asked her. It was so late. that's how I finished it. So Ace Hardware has this paint can, Rustoleum brand. It's got 10 inch fan spray. The can is this tall, wow. 24 ounces. I was like, dude, we should have just bought that. Hmm. I got a couple of little things I want to get there. Might have to I'm thinking he's got to take a dump. I'm going to do it here in just a minute. Okay. Are, those, are these pins to this side? Yes. Here, I'm going to I'll pull this out. Right oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm coming. I'm coming out. Shut, shut, you need a little cry. That thing's heavy. Mm -hmm. Does? They're a little tight, you gotta play with them a little bit. Alright, I gotta go let the puppy out. Okay, take three, because the first time I screwed it up, and the second time the radio was on. But, anyways, I had to make a panel for here because this one flew off somewhere, I'm sure. I don't know what happened to it, but it's missing. It seems like that happens a lot. That one swings in. But as I was getting ready to do it, I noticed I had this fuel leak. There was fuel dripping. So now I got a little bit of diesel fuel down there. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. But we'll 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 get that out of there another time. Um right there was an inline fuel pump, a lift pump like. So that just it's like primes. It helps the big pump up there. And uh, it was dripping out of the case. It was all screwed up. It was down here, it's just a little tin thing. Didn't run very good at or anything. So I ended up replacing this whole fuel line, all that, because it just cost me like five, six extra dollars. No, it cost me like 10 extra dollars in hose to do that. So that's finished. 
And then I built this awesome grate to fit here. And uh, so there it is. And that was out of a piece of grating. I got over to Scrapyard across the street that way. And I uh, just had some things laying around. And I kind of crapped it together. And the reason it looks so good is because we sent it over to the paint shop, the master. And that was actually done with spray cans. And uh, I kind of wish I'd have did all the black and spray cans because it turned out a lot better. But one thing I'm happy about, I rolled those pieces of trim. I took them all off and rolled them. And they came out the paint was really thick so i'm happy with that which means i don't really have to worry about that crap rusting anymore so here we go we're putting on lauren's panel she says it's her panel so we're gonna have a panel put her on her ceremony ah looks nice looks nice looks like maybe tiger cat will hire me to start making panels She's on. I swear that one looks the best out of them all. Want to redo them all? No. Not really. <laughs>